it but the, the ones that i've always really struggled with is like you know what's going on in that part of the world that's going to derail that that supplier we've we've spoken to that supplier we've got stuff in the contract to to mitigate that but that supplier still isn't necessarily going to tell me everything if they know something maybe is happening a bit closer to home and i want to be able to pull that information out and uh deal with that so yeah i am um, big fan of this one especially this is the one that gets me the most excited personally uh seeing all of it I've just asked it about a specific type of risk. So if your manager, if your boss would ever ask you something like, what is our exposure to geopolitical issues that are happening right now? Um, the ability to ask questions like that. Dan, would love to hear from your side on if you feel having these answers like this makes them much more actionable. Would this help you to just stay on top of risk management? What are your thoughts on dealing with... Uh, risks on a day-to-day -day basis and that process yeah, being it's easier a, yeah it's a, it's a good question absolutely right because typically we, the reason we're messing around in all these risk registers trying to pull all of this information together is to get this as an output that we, we that's typically what we're trying to create right a to-do list of you know you know what documents do i need to go and make sure you know we haven't missed a you know a, a tiny little thing that could get our delivery you know stuck in customs or you know, uh, the one I get really excited about here is the external factors, right? Because I know I always think about like, you know, with enough time, enough energy, enough perseverance, those internal ones you can get through. It may take, you know, you may be too late by the time you get to it. Like, let's just ignore that for a moment. But the, the ones that I've always really struggled with is like, you know, what's going on in that part of the world that's going to derail that, that supplier? We've, we've spoken to that supplier. We've got stuff in the contract to to mitigate that, but that supplier still isn't necessarily going to tell me everything if they know something maybe is happening a bit closer to home. And I want to be able to pull that information out and uh, deal with that. So yeah, I am a big fan of this one, especially. This is the one that gets me the most excited personally, uh, seeing all of this stuff. And it means you, you've lowered the bar for risk management. When you're going to ask a question like, which of my orders are at risk? And then the output, is this, it means that now it becomes actionable. I can understand what's at risk and then now I know what I need to do about it. And now I know to pay extra close attention to certain orders. I can go into my weekly meetings with my production planners with, hey, these are the risks. This is what I've done to try and get some more information about these risks, but these are at risk. Let's have a discussion now about materials that are at risk of not arriving on time. What are the options? So you you minimize the detection to decision making or detection to response time once you get these these risks really easily and you can have discussions about solutions rather than not discovering them at all, finding out the last minute and then it's too late. 